<laughs> yeah, you're pretty sick. Here. Okay, here we go. Is this your first line? Oh, you've tied up. No, I tied before on it. Um, welcome, guys. We're at Friday Night Flies. We're back again for another season. We're here at Spud Valley, the headquarters of Friday Night Flies in Pemberton. Um, if we go down, we'll get right into this fly. Well, we just want to notice that you did get a haircut today. Uh, and you're looking pretty studly. So the, the, the boys are pretty. <laughs> the boys are pretty gruff here. So when the handsome fella comes in, uh, oh yeah, we all pick on him. It's yeah, all right. pick on me. Yeah, it's all right though. All right, there it is, this guy. All right, so what we have here is the overlapped egg pattern. I'm going to trick this one out so you can see the simple version, and we're going to trick it out on the one that we're going to tie with a little white veil. Um, Brad's suggestion, and uh, yeah, it should be deadly. It represents the kind of <laughs> membrane that the okay, eggs travel in. This is your first time, right? And then uh, we had some uh, nice feedback well, happening in the I store here. But first one of the year. Always first one of the year. It's always trial, positive feedback. Trial and error. There we go. I figured out that part. Are we still? We're good. We're good. Okay. You're just playing on the computer. So we have a size eight salmon. Hook with a what size bead do I got here again? Three sixteenth. You can use larger to make your your egg pattern larger. Uh, so the tricked out part. Well, I guess we can start from the beginning. We have our bead on with the large opening towards the eye so that our material can fit in underneath. I'm gonna grab my orange thread, very important, orange or red, not black or green. <clears throat> losing my voice, and we're just going to secure on our thread. This pattern is all tied towards the eye of the hook, so we don't have to wrap all the way back. Just a little bit on there is good, and I'm going to move my thread back towards the eye. I want to zoom in down on the fly a little bit here. That is a pretty small tie, so... Yeah, it's a small pattern. But there is a little bit of feedback. We are running live at Spud Valley Sporting Goods in Pemberton, just so you know. So there's bound to be a few people, at big rollers, big spenders. Yeah, that's how we do it here at Spud Valley. <laughs> um, so the materials that we're using is the egg pattern yarn. Uh, first, we're going to start off with some white. And I'm going to get a nice little short bit. And we're going to insert the eye of the hook right into the middle of our bunch. We're going to keep this all really close to the front of the fly. I just want to put a couple wraps on there to secure it. That's step one. Step two is we're going to grab our fluorescent orange and cut a bit yourself a little bit more length so that you can work with it. And this one, what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate it. Basically, we want to wrap it around the white. So what I'm going to do here is flatten it out, spread out these fibers. All right, so it'll look nice and flat like this. And basically, we are just going to wrap it right around the white. So the white's on the inside. And once again, pinch it at the back here. A couple of wraps. Make sure you got it all the way around. Looks yeah. good. All right. One nice tight one, and then we're going to push our bead up towards the eye. And I'm going to put a couple wraps behind it to keep it up there. Anchored. Anchor it in. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take all this orange, and we're going to separate it from the white. We want to leave the white for after. Then we're going to spread the orange evenly all the way around the hook. Because basically what we're going to be doing is wrapping it around the bead. So we want a nice even veil to go around so we don't see that bead and all that we get is a nice orange egg. So I'll just turn it this way so you can see what I'm talking about. So we got this splayed you're all the really way around. You're really high tech with Scott. You, you got, look at you, you're moving the vice, you're doing things. I love that. It's a little entertaining. No, no, I like the action. It's like fly time with action. With action. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull all this back. We're not going to do, we're not pulling this super, super tight against the bead. We want to leave a little bit of a bubble in there. Um, it just helps with, the, helps it when it's in the water. It helps to trap water in there and make it glow. So a couple loose ones, just to make sure. Give it a quick check. You got your bead all covered. And I'm going to 
doing a couple of nice firm wraps to secure it all. And you can push it forward. Perfect. So we got a nice egg. All this trail in the back, we're just going to trim it off really close to your thread. You can almost just pull all right, so we're almost done this pattern here. I'm just going to push this material in the back forward, and I'm going to clean it up. Most there. All right, so I'm just trying to get all this material covered up, nice and smooth. It's looking very smooth. Eleven nineteen, please. There we go. And then this darker orange thread at the back also acts as that dark blood spot. You'll see it when it's floating around in the water. Alright, so I got that all cleaned up. I'm just going to whip finish here on the back. Uh, there's no date set yet. It says people sign up and uh, once it fills up, then we can... Uh, and to finish off that thread, I normally just put a little touch of head cement on there. If you're not, tie it off twice. So that should be pretty secure. And last but not least, we're going to... So if you look from the other starting fly to what we have, so that's your basic one. Now we're just going to trick it out with a little bit of a ghost veil over the top. So we're going to do the same thing. Yeah, I'm going to trim it up, but I want to make sure I get the length. That's, yeah, that, that's going to be crazy. Let's fish are in trouble. So uh, pull it back tight. Make sure your eye is accessible, accessible, exposed. And then we can uh, kind of just trim this up. Don't have to make it all the same um, length. Yeah, you'd have to come into the store and uh, make payment and everything because uh, that's, that's, uh, that's how we and do then it. It will kind of tend to go but, to the front, uh, I mean, but once in it's in the water, even a date set yet, and a good trick, I don't have one with me, is you take a toothbrush, size it up a little bit, and, and, and comb it back, and it'll help all those fibers and, uh, mesh. And but there you go. You got an egg with a white veil. Yeah, deadly. Pure deadliness. I think that looks actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah. No, it does. I like it. Nice suggestion, Brad. Yeah. Woo! Well, that's crazy. Me, uh, that's going to be good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was so cool. that's what she looks like all around. Of course, that white will become a little bit more opaque in the water, and the orange will stand out. The fish will rip all that white Keep off. Keep that on your mouth. And hang on to your rod, because that is going to get hammered. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Right on that buzz.